Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know that I'm a huge fan of butternut squash. I love how versatile it is and I add it on top of salads and pasta and today I'm making a special bisque. I'm making a butternut bisque with bacon bits and corn. And I love the addition of that smoky bacon, it adds such a great flavor to the soup and that sweet and crunchy corn just really finishes everything off. I love this bisque, especially when the fall nights start getting and chili, this bisque is gonna keep you nice and warm. And it's super easy to make. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. Let's get started by preparing our oven roasted butternut squash first. So I've preheated my oven to 425 degrees and we're gonna use a large baking sheet and I have about 10 cups of butternut squash. So you can just cube it into small pieces. I'm just gonna sprinkle that all across my baking sheet here. I'm gonna drizzle my squash with some olive oil nice generous coating of that and then next we're going to add our seasoning so i have about a tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves just going to sprinkle those over the top i have a tablespoon of fresh rosemary and i've just chopped it up into small bits here i'm going to add a little bit of dried basil and now for my favorite ingredient the smoked paprika. So I love to add lots of smoked paprika. I think it adds lots of great flavor. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the top. Can add a little bit of ground black pepper. And lastly, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to this. And now I'm gonna take a spatula and just toss the squash together with the olive oil and all those spices. I'm gonna place my squash into my preheated oven and I'm gonna bake it for about 25 minutes. I want it to be nice and tender, but I also want the edges to have that nice caramelized color. Now that my squash is in the oven, we could talk about the rest of our ingredients. So today I'm using five slices of smoked bacon, about a cup of some canned corn. I have one large onion that I've chopped into large bits. I have a couple sticks of celery and then five garlic cloves. I'm starting with my bacon first today and I just have a large pan heated over medium heat. I added in all my bacon and I'm just rendering it until it's nice and crispy on both sides. I'm keeping all that bacon fat in the pan and I'm gonna add in my corn. I'm gonna cook the corn for just a few minutes. I want it to absorb all that delicious bacon flavor and then I'm gonna remove it out of the pan. And now finally, I'm gonna add in my onion, my celery, and the garlic. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit on my pan and I'm gonna saute uh, the onion, the celery, and the garlic for about five minutes until they're nice and tender. And now let's put the soup together. So I'm gonna transfer my butternut squash, which is roasted in the oven. It's nice and tender. It has those caramelized edges that we're looking for. I'm gonna transfer it into a large soup pot. And to that, I'm gonna add in my onion, celery, and garlic mixture. Just toss all that right in. I'm gonna season this with about half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna add in some freshly ground black pepper. Next, I'm gonna add in my beef broth. I like to use beef broth because of the flavor, but you can use chicken broth or even vegetable broth for this. I've brought my soup back over to the stove top and I'm heating it over medium heat. I'm gonna bring it to simmer and let it simmer for about 20 minutes so all those delicious flavors start to develop. My soup has simmered for about 20 minutes and now it's ready to be pureed into a bisque. So today I'm gonna to be using a submergible blender. Now if you don't have one of these, you can also just pour everything in into a regular blender and give it a whirl until it's nicely pureed. And you wanna puree the mixture until it's nice and smooth and you don't have any large chunks remaining. So I'm gonna dice my bacon that I rendered earlier into small little pieces. Now I'm gonna transfer my bacon bits to my corn and I'm just gonna mix those two together. And this can be the perfect topping for our bisque. Our bisque is almost ready to be enjoyed. For the last part, I'm gonna add in one cup of whole milk. You can either use milk or half and half or even cream if you want it to be super rich. I'm just gonna give that a stir. Next, I'm gonna add in half of my corn and bacon bisque. So I like to add it directly into the bisque as well because I love that it adds so much of that bacon and corn flavor with every bite. 
And then the other half, I'm just gonna reserve as a topping to my bisque. Give that a whirl. And this bisque is ready to be enjoyed. So I'm gonna ladle myself a nice large bowl of the butternut bisque. I love all the flavors, especially in the fall time, when you want a really nice and warm soup to keep you warm on a cold fall or winter night. And then to top it off, I'm gonna add some of my bacon and corn pieces right on top. And that's it for my butternut bisque recipe. I know I'm gonna eat a ton of the soup, so I just grabbed myself a huge bowl from the start. I love the aroma of this while it's cooking on the stove top, just smells absolutely amazing. Mmm. My absolute favorite thing about this bisque is that sweet and smoky flavor profile. You get it from the smoked paprika and the bacon that we added in here and it's just phenomenal. Combined with that nutty squash and that sweet and crunchy corn, the flavor combination is just mouth water and you're just gonna wanna eat and eat and eat. So if you're still looking for a butternut bisque recipe, this is the one for you. Your hunt is over. You guys are gonna love the flavors here and it's so easy to put together. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.